hair's acting weird today, like always. What in the... Ooh. Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel, and for today's video, I'm going to be sharing my March favorites with you. I don't have many favorites to share with you guys. A favorite that I did want to mention, and it doesn't really pertain to, you know, makeup or anything like that, but it is these... Uh, water infusers. I have mint and lemon in here today, but I've been using this non-stop I love it because it comes in like a tumbler form so I can just like drink it out of a straw But I did get one for my husband and he has like the water bottle form you can just put your fresh fruits and vegetables in this little Infuser area and then just fill the water through there and it just straight infuses the water with any of the fruits or vegetables or you know herbs that you do have in here and it just gives you flavored water it's healthy you know you get awesome benefits for that and then it gives you you know some taste to your water and it's just super refreshing and I've been absolutely loving it my daughter drinks out of it you know when I have mine around and she thinks it's juice because it does have a flavor to it it's not just like you know plain water so she's been loving it too I got this at Walmart and this was only $5.88 and I was really shocked that this was like super cheap because I've seen it online and I've seen it like at other places and they just for some reason sell these for ridiculously like priced Went and got a couple more of these because I've been like obsessed with them. I'm just going to quickly start with my face favorite. First one is this Cover Everything Concealer and this one is in the shade Medium. Don't mind it. It's kind of filthy right now but I've been using this concealer to cover up my blemishes and what I like to do before I put on any foundation I like to put this on before, kind of just like dab it on the areas that I see needs, you know, some extra coverage. And then I'll apply on the foundation and kind of like all blend it together. If I feel like it didn't fully cover it because I kind of blended out the concealer, then I'll just reapply some more and I will just kind of take my foundation brush that I'm using, just like kind of stipple. I like the formula of this concealer. It is a really creamy consistency and I just like the way that it blends into the blemishes. Not to mention this concealer was only a dollar or two. Another favorite that I have been loving this month is this e.l.f. Moisturizing Foundation Stick. You open it and it comes in stick form. And it's pretty creamy texture. I like the consistency of it. It blends really, really nicely into my skin. But I do want to do a review on this product and just show you how it worked on my skin. Stay tuned for this. It should be coming up pretty soon. And um, yeah, I'll go into a lot more detail in this product than uh, what I'm going to go through right now. And this shade I do want to mention is in high. The last thing that I did want to share with you guys is this Japanese uh, foundation powder. I don't know the exact name of this product since everything is in kanji. You do know that the shade that this press powder is in is a little bit too light for my face. So I like to use this to set my under eye after I put concealer underneath my eye. I've been using the Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer Powder and I'm starting to run out of that product so I just, you know, dug into my makeup and saw what I did have and just wanted to try other things that I found that this really works. As for eyes, I do have a couple favorites to share with you guys and the first favorite that I did want to mention is this Sonia Kashuk Eyeshadow Palette. This is just the Ion Neutral matte shimmer palette and it's a limited edition that came out for like their Christmas line or whatnot. It has just a variety of mattes, satin finishes, and shimmer shadows which I absolutely love. It does come with a nice size mirror. I have it on my eyes today minus a shadow. And this was actually my first Sonia Kashuk palette so I never really had the feel for Sonia Kashuk eyeshadows before and I got this one on sale. It was originally like $29.99 but I got it for $14.99 so I was really excited about you know trying out a whole bunch of different shadows and getting a good deal on Another it. favorite is this e.l.f. smudge pot. This is in the shade Back to the Basics. I did want to let you guys know that I did get the rest of the smudge pots because I was obsessed with all of them and I haven't used any of them except this one since I've gotten them. I do have another eyeshadow favorite. This is from the brand Be A Bombshell Cosmetics and this is in the palette Bora Bora. I have been obsessing over this coppery amber color. I have it on my lids today and yeah that was in the mixture with the Sonia Kashuk palette that I just showed you. I love the color payoff and it just like works really nice with my eyes and 
yeah, just wanted to include that. I got this in this month's Ipsy Glam Bag. So if you guys are watching. Last of my favorites, I have a few more things to show you. And that's, again, with the eyes and eyebrow area. I wanted to share with you guys my favorite lashes that I've been loving this month. They're from the brand Salon Perfect, and they are the Demi Wispies. I do have them on my lashes today. They are just so pretty. I just love how natural they look on my lashes. I love how they did bind with my lashes when I, you know, put some mascara on it. Sometimes when I do other lashes, I try to, like, bind up my false and real lashes together it kind of gives me a hard time or like my real lashes still kind of poke out and you can totally tell that I have false lashes on and I just love the length of them how they curl just everything about them I just absolutely love I got this at Walmart to bind the lashes together I don't like to put too much mascara on my real lashes because it kind of makes it super noticeable that I do have like a bunch of mascara on and then the false lashes so I like to put a coat of like waterproof first and then I'll apply the false lashes and then I'll apply the L'Oreal Voluminous and Carbon Black. This has been my go-to for that when I do apply on false lashes. My last favorite, I did want to share with you a Milani product. This is the Brow and Eye Highlighters. I got this in the shade O2. This side is more of like a matte concealer side and I like to apply this you know just to highlight my brow bone and above my brows and then after I blend all that together, then I like to apply the Luminous Lift side. And this has more of a really nice shimmer to it, which I've been actually looking for. I just apply this above the brows just so it gives it more of that lift and that glow. been using it a lot lately and it's just been super easy to use because it does come in pencil form and I can just, you know, line it and then call it good whatever. That is everything for this month's favorites. I'm sorry if it was, you know, not so much, but I did want to share with you guys what I've been loving this month anyways. So I'm super excited that I'm actually getting this video out to you on time. And yeah, I guess that's everything for my monthly favorites. And if you guys have any questions about the products that I've mentioned, then just comment down below and let me know what's up. And if you can please like this video if you love watching favorites. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you also want to keep in touch via social media sites, I do have my Twitter, my Facebook page, and my Instagram. And I can link that all right here. Or I can just have that information linked down below as well just so it's, you know, easier for you. Thank you so much for watching, ladies. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!